Hi guys, it is that time again. Mark Dawson Self Publishing 101 is open for business for another 10 days or so. If you are a self published author or a writer considering investing, I think it's 700 bucks in Mark Dawson Self Publishing 101 course, this is the video that is going to tell you whether or not it's worth it for you. Stay tuned. Hi guys, it's me and uh, if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know every single year when Mark Dawson uh, opens up his courses, Self Publishing 101 or Ads for Authors, I always like to make a video about them because I'm an alumni of both courses. Self Publishing 101, which basically teaches you how to set up a sustainable uh, self-publishing business and then there's ads for authors which teaches you how to advertise your books on things like Facebook and uh, in ads, uh, advertising for Amazon and stuff like that. At the moment, Self-Publishing 101 that is the course that is open. And what is Self-Publishing 101? Well, it pretty much does exactly what it says on the tin. So this business that we're in of self-publishing, it is an incredible opportunity. Amazon, uh, by creating the Kindle, by creating Kindle Direct Publishing, has basically democratized the whole publishing industry. People who are aspiring writers no longer need to go through traditional publishers to get published. But the thing is, their books still need to be of the standard that can go up against uh, traditionally published books. So I have been successful in self-publishing because I write and publish books that are very, very high quality. I have beautiful covers, beautiful formatting. I get them professionally edited. I have spent my entire life dedicated to the craft of storytelling and therefore I've been reasonably successful because what happened is I took all of that passion and all of that in insistence that I was going to be successful at this and then Mark Dawson Self-Publishing 101 course is a great way to go step by step through what you need to do, what you need to learn in order to be successful. And it's definitely not the only reason I've been successful. I think sheer stubborn bloody mindedness is that. But I can definitely say that in 2015, when I took Mark Dawson Self Publishing 101 course, it changed the trajectory of my career. I was kind of like pottering along, and then it was like whoosh, straight up there. Because what's really valuable about Self Publishing 101 is that it just, it basically says, stop, okay, you're going to be a self published writer. This is what you need to do to be successful. You need to set up a mailing list. You need to format your books like this. You need to use keywords like this. You need to, uh, to think of it strategically over the long time this way. And it's a really, really good way of laying down the foundation of, uh, of what can become a very successful self publishing career. And it's one of the things that, that helped me come up with this philosophy that I live by, the rules that I live by. Anybody can be a successful self published author. You just need to learn the craft of writing. You're on your own with that one. Uh, and then you need to follow the process of successful self-publishing. And Mark Dawson's Self-Publishing 101 taught me that process. I thought there were certain gaps in that, so I created my own course, which is almost like a filler course, uh, to fill in all those gaps. But I definitely would not have got where I am today without taking Mark Dawson's course. Um, that was 2015, though. Is it valid today? Yes, I actually took the, the course again very recently because I've had terrible issue with Facebook. I got uh, accidentally locked out of Facebook because they're two-factor authentication. I have been trying to get back in since February and that's basically stymied my self-publishing career. I was doing so well uh, advertising on Facebook. So now I have to stop for a second and be like, okay, if I don't have Facebook, how am I gonna get back to the heights that I have achieved in the past? And I have consistently made more than $10,000 a month from writing alone. For extended periods of time so I know that you can get there and retaking Mark Dawson's self-publishing 101 course was a great way to like catch me up with that and it was also a great way to see how the materials have changed and evolved over the years because I'll admit when I reached the height of my success 2018 was when I really really hit the big time and it was a different a different uh, world then because Amazon wasn't so keen on all this built-in advertising on Amazon stuff. It was pretty much a, uh, an open market for things that were served up because they are what the customers wanted, what the readers wanted. So me focusing on writing and publishing really good books meant that I reached an audience who bought them was able to be successful. It's not quite so easy these days because these days, so much of the stuff that you get served up on Amazon's pages are ads. And so you need to know how to navigate that and make your book visible. Uh, and you need to get some of these details that weren't so important in the past absolutely right. And I think that's where Mark Wilson's course is really, really good. 
if you purchase it, you get lifetime access to the whole thing. So even though I bought it in 2015, I still have access to the 2020 uh, materials that get updated. And that's really, really useful because so many things have changed. And I found it quite a humbling experience going back to take the course again because I was like, wow, so much has changed. And because I wasn't being diligent about re going through all of the materials and Mark Dawson updates every single year, I'd missed a lot. Um, and you have to, to really approach writing like a business now. I used to approach like a passion and happen to be successful and therefore make money. Now you have to be like, I have a passion for it. I want to make money for it. I have to see how I can align those things. And yeah, the self-publishing course is a great way to get started. It teaches you just all of the, the core fundamentals. And there are certain things, especially like newsletters and building up your subscriber list. Those are going to be essential. If you are serious about being a full-time writer, you can get there, but you need to think about how you're going to build up and, and uh, create this audience who are going to buy every single book you have and hold on to them because you never know what's going to happen in social media. Maybe you're going to have an experience like mine and get locked out of Facebook. Maybe you're going to get kicked off Twitter. Maybe uh, Instagram is going to shadow ban you. Maybe your books aren't going to be eligible for advertising on advertising on Amazon. So you need to have a way to uh, to reach the audience who are going to buy your books uh, independent of all of these other platforms that you might lose access to. Uh, yeah, and Mark Dawson's course does a wonderful, wonderful job showing you how to do that. It's not all uh, sunshine and rainbows, though. I think it's also worth pointing out some of the, the criticisms of Mark Dawson's self-publishing 101 course, which I think are probably more relevant today than they were. I, Mark Dawson and uh, James Blatch, uh, what they've produced and what they've created is amazing. And it's a podcast they do every single week, which I find is fascinating. They're quite into banter, though. Banter is like this, this typically British thing of, of repartee and conversation and going back and forth and stuff like that. I know a lot of people enjoy it. Me, I've lived in America too long. So I have to admit my biggest frustration going through the self-publishing one-on-one videos and courses again was I was just like, come on guys, get to the point, get to the point, get to the point, get to the point, get to the point. And that may be a reflection of me. I don't know. But sometimes it's nice to kind of get, get to uh, the point a little quicker. The other thing that can sometimes be a bit disjointed is the fact that some of the materials still valid from year on year so they don't update those and some of the materials do get updated and therefore you know when i took it in 2015 it was pretty much all part of the same course and now it's a bit like a kind of like frankenstein's monster of some of the newer bits and some of the older bits i think if you were doing it for the first time it'd be fine for me it kind of um i was aware of the transitions between new materials and older materials so that's something to be aware of um the other thing to be aware of is just big course it's a huge course and obviously if you're paying seven hundred dollars or whatever you want it to be a big course you want it to to provide everything you need and you want to have value and there's no better way of indicating value than having hours and hours of course material but that means not only you're making financial commitment to buy the course you're also making a commitment in terms of time and this is the thing you really really have to be aware of you have to make the time i know dorothy parker said that buying books and reading books are two separate uh, hobbies but just because you buy this course doesn't mean that through a process of osmosis it is going to put the information into your head you actually have to listen to it and then not only do you have to listen to it you have to apply it you have to do the things so you know as a, as a consultant with other authors I've worked with a bunch of authors who have been like oh yeah I bought Mark Dawson's course haven't really listened to it or I bought Mark Dawson's course didn't really know where to start I think really if you take the time uh, and make the, the investment to get everything out of the course, you will get what you want, but you have to do that. I tended to stick it on the radio while I was doing a washing up or driving somewhere or something like that. It means you can't watch the screen, but that's okay. A lot of the stuff you can just follow on by listening. But unless you're willing to make the time to, to go through all of this stuff, then you're not gonna get the benefit of it. So make that commitment. Um, and I'll also say, I think it's much less so now than it was in 2015 but in 2015 i noticed there were some gaps missing from what mark dawson was trying to teach you and uh, i produced a course in 2020 which is called so self-published a book on amazon now what and i wasn't trying to rehash mark dawson's course because i think whatever he does he will do much better than i could but i was trying to to maybe just uh 
and maybe just focus on some of the sections that I didn't think got enough attention. And hopefully I, I did that. Um, I've noticed that he, the new material that's been produced has actually focused a lot on that. I think the real, the biggest thing at the moment is back when I started being successful, you know, the standard for a successful book could be much lower. But now you really have to have a great book. You have to have a great cover, a great concept, the, the right keywords, you have to launch it in the right way and you have to appeal to your audience. If you can do all of those things, then you really stand a, sh a shot of being a successful self-published author. But the the level of quality you have to reach is so much more significant. So if there's one thing I've noticed in um, the, the courses, self-publishing one-on-one, and definitely in ads for authors these days, is that, that Mark Dawson and his crew focus a lot more on how it's your responsibility to have quality books. If you publish books that people don't want to buy, it doesn't matter how much advertising you do, it doesn't matter how much process you go through, people aren't going to buy those books. So you've got to focus on quality above all else. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's largely it when it comes down to it. But uh, I think at this day and age, at this juncture in self-publishing, Mark Dawson self-publishing one on one is still the best course to go for. It's still essential learning for anybody. And um, if you really want to make a commitment to be a writer, and you're willing to, you know have a certain amount of self-awareness, do a lot of hard work, not see the rewards for a while. Mark Dawson self-publishing one-on-one is the best groundwork you can have. And the price, $700, I mean, if you think about it, you could go to the local community college and do a couple of courses that probably cost you the same thing and they won't give you what Mark Dawson self-publishing one-on-one does. Um, and also, if you go and do a couple of courses at the local community college, uh, that's one and done. Whereas you spend the money on Mark Dawson's one-on-one -on -one course and you will then have lifetime access. So as things change, you can go back and take a refresher. You can go back and learn the new material. So it really is a, like, a very, very smart investment for those of us willing to put in the work and do the, the, the things required of us. Um, and that's all I've got to say on the matter. I mean, if you have any more questions, drop them down in the comment section below. I'll tell you what, so I have a link down to Mark Dawson self-publishing one-on-one course. If you watch this video, and if what I've told you seems useful to you, use that link to go and buy the course. I get a little piece of the action. I really appreciate that. It encourages me to make videos like this, but I will up the ante. I told you I made my own course. So you've self-published a book on Amazon, now what? Uh, to fill in the gaps that I felt were, were missing in Mark Dawson's self-publishing one-on-one course and his ads for authors course. If you purchase Mark Dawson's self-publishing one-on-one course using the link below, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you free access to my course. Um, I should get an email. I should get an email with your email if you, you use the, the link below to buy the course, in which case I'll email you and I'll give you access to my course. And hopefully the two of them together are gonna give you everything that you need. Um, that's about it. All I will say is remember, anybody can be a successful self-published author. You just have to learn the craft of writing and follow the process of successful self-publishing. And Mark Dawson's Self-Publishing 101 is the process of successful self-publishing. Anyway, uh, thanks very much for listening. I will be back very soon with another video. If you choose to buy Mark Dawson's 101, use that link below. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Goodbye. I'm Roland Hume. I've sold 67,000 copies of my books. If you want to find out how I did it, I've got a link right here you can click. And otherwise, don't forget to subscribe. I've got more videos coming soon. Thank you.